be able to do it. Everybody else should be able to bust out journal, bust out paper, um, and plan out your non-negotiables for this week. Remember, we're going to pick four for body, four for being, four for biz balance, and four for business. Write down four things on a hit list or hot list that you're going to make non-negotiables this week. Should these be uh, changing every week? So it depends. It depends. These should lead to accomplishment of your impossible game, of your year from now. Who do you want to be a year from now? And what are things that I need to do right now to get to that person a year from now? Um, so these can repeat. These can be brand new things. But what you'll find is that you'll get in a groove. You'll have a set stable of things on your hit list that you've got to do every week. And then you'll have ones that pop up in there. Remember, these should be things that are important, but not urgent. Important to move your life forward, but not urgent because everything's burning down. So right now, let's take five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Um, to write down four things for body, four things for being, four things for balance that you are going to do this week. No, no doubt about it. Like you, now, are you are you accomplishing all four for all four sections in the week, or you're doing four a day, or are you only doing four within a week? Good question. Good question. So remember, we're we're building capacity and then we're limiting the amount of time that you're allowed to spend on these things. So when you pick these four things in each category that you'll end up doing three things each day, you're only allowed to work on three of those things each day. Right. So work will expand itself into the time that you allow. Right. No matter what. The goal is kind of just like how you do chasing alignment and you get your whole core done first thing in the morning. The goal should be for these things to fit in your day kind of like that. Like your daily routine includes dating your wife. Your daily routine includes dating your children. Your daily routine includes extra gym time. You know what I'm saying? It should be things that you can program into your life that are just what you do not things that you have to go out of your way to do, if that makes sense. So expanding that capacity and just making it part of what we do and who we are. So our, Ooh, nice. <laughs> if you could play some of that music when we start yeah, writing. Tom Petty's not we're bad. Good, we're good. Tom Petty's the one to play. <laughs> no doubt. Any other questions on it? Good, quick question, Nathaniel. Four things, body, being, balance, Write those down. And then the second portion of that is you're going to schedule three of those things per day. So they're non-negotiables that you're going to accomplish that week. And then you're going to put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're going to schedule those out over the week. You're still going to list four for each category. And you're going to pick three and you're going to do them every day scheduled at specific yeah. times throughout the week. So think of it like I can do one thing from body, one thing from being, one thing from balance on each day. Or one day I could do all body, the next day I could do all being, the next day I could do it. however you want to mix it up. But you're going to have this list of 12 things and you have to program it out over the week. No more than three things each one of those days. So there's an emphasis on the program part. Like I just, I can't just squeeze my 100 burpees in whenever I'm going to do it at 1220 when I get out of my meeting at 12 or whatever or you're going to do it on tuesday okay so any any time during the day right right no no real schedule gotcha right. and, and, and we, we, we can within that, day. within that day okay cool so it's not as rigorous as i thought i don't know if there's a purpose in like trying to schedule it down to the minute or whatever but not it doesn't yet. sound like it at all yeah. okay <laughs> And if we need to focus, like, if we need to focus like more on balance, we could put a couple, sprinkle a couple more of those in fitness in that week, right? We can kind of pull from one category. 
Yep, you'll see that there's 15 spots, right? 15 spots if you do three a day. And then we only have 12 items scheduled. So you have three kind of bonus spots that you can use up for something that you want more attention towards. Yeah, yeah let's take that. Uh, let's take seven minutes. Let's go to seven. Seven, writing that out. And I, I can do it right. I can do it right now, Coach Bill. Okay. Oh,
Hey, are we uh, putting them down? Are we scheduling them already once we're done or wait a little bit? Um, if you know which days we want to get them done, um, then just, schedule them out. Go ahead, but schedule. If you need some time, then you can schedule after. But it is seven, just so that we can hold each other accountable. Let's go around and share just a couple of our non-negotiables, a couple of our non-negotiables. I'll start off. Um, I pledged when, when I started living the Warriors way that I would go on 52 date nights, 52 date nights this year. Um, so one of my non-negotiables is to make sure I date my wife this week. Um, so that will happen. It's been happening. So that's good. And I will do 26 kid dates. So I got two babies and a couple fosters. Um, sometimes I combine those into like a family date, but usually I'll be able to date one of my kids one-on-one. -on -one. Um, not each week, but at least every other week. And I this is the week that I've scheduled to date date one of them. Um, but yeah, that's that's my balance portion, which which really helps me with all the other stuff. Um, which kind of comes naturally to me anyway after owning that gym for a while and and just stacking and all this stuff just makes the other stuff easy. But you, I do have to put work into the into the dating and spending time with them. Who else? What you got, Ray? You're on mute, buddy. <laughs> oh, I hate that part. Okay, so mine is uh, what I was already talking to you about, uh, the the food. Mine's going to be the food and the training, uh, being tight, really, for the 21 days. But the non-negotiable starting out this week is really mm -hmm. tight. Up. <clears throat> like, my food's got to be on point, and my training's got to be on point so that I can be ready for... What, is, what does that mean? What did we talk about? the just changing my diet around yeah, what what how are we going to prove that you changed your diet uh well we're definitely keeping the hopefully the um it'll all be in that list that i can eat solely from that list and then just tracking it within uh what all of that is back in macros mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. i like that i like that uh having a list of do of, of, of allowables i like that yeah 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 he sent me a list it's like a list of the only things i can eat it's like okay here we go now i mean when you work through that list i mean are you pulling out the things that you like from the list or you're just like whatever it is on the list that's all i'm gonna eat because yeah, i mean if no, it's, just... it's what you like on the okay. list but it's it is a very limited list mm -hmm. okay hopefully you like everything <laughs> <laughs> You got Andy? Uh, me, so I'm going to date a core loved one. Um, and I'm putting that kind of as like my family, uh, mm -hmm. mom, dad, or brother. Um, de devoting an hour to an hour and a half of doing something they like. Okay. Something they love. Good, good. Good, good. Got anything else? Anyone? Uh, I'm going body, uh, I actually put down five because I want to work on my pull-ups. So 50 pull-ups to, or 55. Um, and if I, I can't, I can do 10 straight for probably first set, but uh, really concentrating them on the way down on the uh, dissension on the negative. 
Uh, so I really just want, that's like one of the things that I want to work on for, you know, for myself. So that's one that's on there. How are you going to prove that you did that? I'm going to prove it. I guess doing it is not enough. <laughs> uh, I guess I, that's something I can record. That'd be kind of okay. cool to kind of record that <clears throat> progress. So yes, I'll record that. And then how are you going to prove you dated? Uh, well, typically I, or like what I did last week, I kind of just like wrote it down on my calendar and scratched it off as I did it. But I guess I could take a picture of us doing it together that way. Okay. It's something to save the, save the moment also. Yeah. Sure. Cool. What'd you got, Kurt? I think I have, did you say four things in four, all four areas or three in every area? Four? Uh, four things in every area. Uh, four things now, in well, three areas. Body being in areas. Um, I did a little more than that, I guess. Um, I do have a weight. So I teach high school. I did get a weight lifting schedule from our uh, lifting coach, football coach. I, was start, I haven't started yet. My goal is to lift two days this week. And go on my walks four days in the morning. Um, while it's still dark. Um, not quite where you guys all are at with uh, the workouts, but I'll get there. Um, Absolutely. I use the U version Bible app and been using that for a few years, but I need to set a I've set a goal to use it at night before I go to bed. So I'm being purposeful with my time right before bed and <clears throat> my wife and I haven't done one together for a while. Find a plan that worked for us to do together. Okay. Okay. And Let me ask you this. Um, <clears throat> your so I, I love that you're you're getting into the U version at nighttime. What about the morning? I do it. I've been doing the morning for years. Okay. Okay. That's that's already my routine. Okay. Good. I'm you're just gonna add add at night. Okay. Good. 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 You and then you're adding stacking, right? I'm not there yet. Just I just paid the day, so I'm not in the app yet. Okay, you'll be in the I'm app um, the for the the four trainings, whatever. Okay, you'll be in the app um, no later than tomorrow, maybe today. Um, right. But definitely yeah. start stacking. I'll send you a tutorial, and and off you'll go. Right. Once you get in it and start doing it, committing to doing it, it gets pretty easy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, what do you got? Our non-negotiables. So, um, body, my few are 100 burpees a day, 100 pull-ups a day, swim a thousand meters or three minutes in the ice. Um, being uh, 20 minutes in meditation and then 20 minutes alignment. I guess it's just kind of like not necessarily focusing on meditating, but focusing on what comes after for 20 minutes. Um, and then 30 minutes of stretching yoga. I found a yoga channel I like. It's kind of like both meditation and yoga. So I guess that one can kind of flop around. Good, good. Uh, I want to do the document all these things. Uh, same thing on the app, just on the app. Just like, clicking it? Uh, no, the, so that would be like fitness or whatever, but. Um, I mean, I don't know how I would be tracking if I'm doing 100 burpees or whatever. Yeah, it in all tides. In all tides, okay. Yep. So uh, Andy, and, Andy and Craig have been posting their burpees in there, so it's been good. Okay. Yeah. I guess oh, oh, doing all tides rise. Man, yeah. doing all tides rise. Unless you you are good with posting it, just uh. The no, no, I'll put it out there. You know, I'll, I'll expose my sweat. I was gonna make a yard sign and put it on landing. <laughs> I did a hundred. I did a hundred burpees today. Call me. Get uh, get Fox Thirty to come out and film you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it in a speedo, dude, in the sweatband. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Good. So with all these things, make sure that you have a way to hold yourself accountable to doing it. We yeah. can do it. But then there's always that place where you can just press that button and it didn't really happen, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's just accountable. Pictures, evidence, pictures yeah, that it didn't same, happen. Like, same thing you guys said with my kids. I want to try to do that, start making lunches happen. I've never taken them for lunches. So I think that would be kind of, they'd think that was, that would be 
mind-blowingly game. special. Game changer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, also on balance, tithing, um, it's, it is an act of worship. It's also like the counteract of me earning uh, is giving. So it's kind of cool to balance that out. Um, but then obviously in balance, uh, Bible and prayer is it's kind of like where I'm finding, you know, reality, anchor, like who I am again, in spite of who I've been. Um, and then that hater in your head, it's like, uh, hey, uh, yeah, right. You're you're a fake and a fraud. You're like, well, kind of. But then I've also been doing this uh, thing with the Lord that's real. So um, when did yeah, you so fulfill your balance. Bible last? Who was it? I? Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, yeah, I mean, and it's not even a thing anymore. It's like they don't even want your, your frow because they're scared of you. You know, it's All like right. a different. But yeah, I got more of that stuff. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, program it out. We can we can share that in the app too. Like, hey, this is my full list. This is how I'm going to accomplish it. Did you got uh, Nathaniel? Yeah. Well, one one thing I just had is you know, a way to track it on Sunday or Monday. I'm going to post my week's hit list with all the targets on it, and then as each day goes by, go back and bold or change the color. Do something to signify that yes, I did this, but or no, I did not do that one. And then I'll have a record of it from week to week. Good, good, good. And like I said, the next kind of iteration of this, the next level of this, that becomes a whole, a whole Trello board, um, more overwhelm of information that we can start to put into the app once we once we nail this these basics down. So good, good, good. That's very good color code and everything. What do you got, Christian? Um, so I am going to start implementing the, the date night because that's, that's fire. And I'm, I'm a bonehead man. Like, like I'm thinking back, I'm like, dude, romance, you know, I, I haven't been doing that at all. Like I'm missing the mark and it's, it's way too early in this relationship, you know, like for me to be missing that kind of stuff. Right. And it matters. So that's, that's pretty clutch. Uh, but I'm doing Course Miracles, so doing that every morning, obviously the Bible stack. But um, that, uh, wake up, and very important to start the day with gratitude, right? Sit down in the quiet after I wake myself up and, and think, okay, you know, not only think about what I'm grateful for, but feel it, right? That's mm -hmm. very, very clutch, right? Feel how grateful I am, like feel it in my heart, how grateful I am to you know, to have this little baby boy in my life and, and all these things. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Huge, huge. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, we man. Can assist you with that too, right? What's up? You got a tool that can assist you with that as well. With making babies? Uh, gratitude stack. So you can document. Uh, yeah. So what yeah. I've committed to is, Bible stack in the morning, prayer stack in the morning, grateful stack at night, grateful stack and just review my entire day. I have to pick something of that day that I was grateful for. Nothing generic. It has to be something that day that I'm grateful for. And then I share it to the person who I was grateful for or to. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, exactly that's like, even better. And what you're saying, though, that's why, like with Coach Noel saying that, because what you're saying is doing that stack, but you're talking about bringing your heart and your mind, connecting the two. And instead of, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, if I do the stack, that's just my mind. And it's not. It's being able to have that process that's there, but you're connecting your heart and your mind. So even what you're talking about with the gratitude and you go through that process with the stack, super powerful. And then, so sometimes while you're doing the stack, it might feel like, yeah, I'm just checking the boxes. But then when you say it, when you verbalize it to the person, that's what I've been doing is reading it to like, as our bedtime routine, I'll read my gratitude stack to everyone. Little tears, little, little song, little, little joy. Need still a little extra time with the wifey being gratitude. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. Anybody got any questions on that hit list or how to accomplish it and schedule it throughout that week? Okay, good. 
Good, good. So <clears throat> we wanted to talk a little bit, a little bit about balance. I know last week we kind of walked the block a little bit, which which could be used for balance, just depending on on how we use our stacks, use that rage stack. But there have been things in the Christian church that have been taught that if utilized the wrong way, could be fairly damaging to a marriage, to a relationship, to a single person in the in the relationship, right? It could swing the balance of power from queen power and king power to only one of those people getting what they want all the time. So one of the first things <clears throat> that happens to young people as they as they start to get married or they discuss getting married or they come into that engagement relationship is we say this thing and I know most of us have probably heard it but they're like oh you're engaged now the real work's about to start right and that shouldn't be the case like engagement should be the place where you work so that when you get into the marriage you already know like these are the things that have to happen in order to make this just part of how we are, part of how we communicate, part of how we operate as husband and wife. It's not when you get married, you start the hard work. It's when you start relationship, you start that hard work. And then to reverse that from an engagement place to most of us here are married, you reverse that and you say, what am I doing right now that I was doing in my engagement to keep this fire alive. Because if you're not doing anything that you did while you were courting, this beautiful woman that said yes to you, if you're not doing any of that anymore, then you're failing, right? The things that you lured her in with, that you catfished her into this relationship with, that you're no longer doing, that's a bait and switch. You've got to continue being that romancer, being that guy, the king that courted her as a queen and brought her into your life. So one, if, if you're going to get engaged, if you're going to start a relationship, do the things now, do the communication now that you need to do, say the truth now that you need to say so that when you get into the marriage, you're not catfishing. And then if you're married now and you've already got your beautiful bride for life, do the things that you said you were gonna do during engagement so that she doesn't feel ripped off. You're no longer the man that you came into the marriage saying you were or portraying you were, right? Continue to date. Continue to play and flirt. Continue those things because that's what keeps the color in the relationship. What do we think about that, Nathaniel? What do we think about that? Like, oh, now the real work starts. Um, it, it's been, we've got three kids and the, the little one being born j just wrecked our romantic life. <laughs> um, she's working two jobs. I work 60 to 80 hours a week at my job. We come home and it's just nothing but children. So it's been a big focus of mine. So she and I actually went on two dates last week. And the wow. difference the difference in her attitude is night and day. Congratulations, bro. That's beautiful. Yeah, she, she is so over the moon that I took her out twice in one week. Love that. Yeah. Yeah, with intention and purpose, right? Not just yep. going somewhere. Yeah. Good. Very good. What do you think about that, Kurt? It, yeah, if they're waiting for the engagement to start doing the work, it's too late. Um, got a text from my older sister today. She said on text to all of her siblings that she and her husband are separating. Been married for 29 years. And the work never ends. So I'm glad I'm in this, in this with you all so that I can continue to date my wife and I know I need it. Yeah. Anything that you need to flip that mirror around and look at yourself and say, hey, I need to start doing this. Oh, yeah. Definitely. 
Now, the question is when we go to Husker football games on Saturdays, is, is that sufficient of a date? Or is there more mm. than we can do? Is it? No. Are you telling her that that's her date? That's how you're romancing her? That's how you're showing her that she's the queen of your world? And yep, she's a much. queen to you? That is what I'm doing. I'm not saying that's right, but that is what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's make it really what you believe. Do something okay. that you believe is those things. If we'll you, do. What do you got, Andy? Uh, well, I'm not in a relationship place uh, as far as courting right now. Um, well, what um, do you think about that? What do you think about going into a relationship with your end goal, not to get laid, your end goal is you're finding someone that can be your queen, somebody that you can do life with, somebody that's just as amped as you, mm -hmm. somebody oh, that I... wants to be a weapon in their body being balanced in business, wants to spend tons of time with you. It has to be, like, at first, I say, the, whatever it is that's, well, I mean, the greens and whatever it is that's being done through the courting, I know there's going to be times where it can be a hundred percent the same courting ritual, but like still put the emphasis on that. Like, Hey, look, it's important for me to have, if this is going to be our day where we're doing our things together, that's important to me. And I want that to be something that's going to be concrete. We'll work it out together to where it comes to the point where like, it's a doable for each other, but like, I want to honor and value that. I'm going to be honoring and valuing that. And I would, I want, I, I want to see you honor and value that as well, because it's showing me that you're going to be as interested in this as I am. Also, uh, what was it? You just brought it up a minute ago and it just escaped me. Um, but being transparent and truthful, like, Hey, this is what I'm trying to attain. Uh, where do you see yourself with that? Because mm -hmm. if it's not going to be something that you're in line with, like, if you're not somebody that has an aspiration to work out three to five times a week, or you do that on your own, like, you know, that will cause a rift because that is going to be something that I'm going to be consistent in. Like I want to expose these consistencies at the, the beginning of it, at the inception of it, because if not, it's just going to lead to a rift later on. And if, we're, if it's going to be that I'm not here to waste time. I don't want my time wasted. I don't want your time wasted. Right, right. Especially at the stage we are right now, right? Like yeah. we're probably not going to change a person. Maybe, maybe in workouts, we might be able to get some habits established in that person. But there are other core things that if they're just not a hungry person and want to go after life with a, like, a zest and a zeal, mm -hmm. go after God with right absolute jesus freakness and they don't want to go after business and build something a legacy then <laughs> you're probably not going to be able to change that habit right right no and it's just like i'm not I, I, i'm not in the point of fighting you know it's it's plenty of stuff that has to be fought through the day that's probably not one i want to really fight on or spend right. much uh yeah yeah what do you got sean i was saying thumbs down thumbs down yeah i know that's no more distracted and he needs them yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I heard something today. It was like, uh, um, follow your dream, your passion, God, at 100 miles an hour. Whoever comes alongside you, then introduce yourself. Right. Everything else is legitimately a distraction in my life, 100%. Yep, yep. And then on the flip side of that, the girl should be looking for somebody who's eyes only come up from the Lord to notice her who is also just focused on the Lord. If I, if I can chime in on that, yeah, uh, it may not, you may not need to find a woman that wants to start a multi-billion dollar business. No, so maybe, maybe wants to be a Proverbs 31 woman who raises your family. Like it's her only job in life. Hey and man, that chick, everything. That, chick, that chick made clothes though. You never know. She could have been the easy of her day billionaire bro you don't know and then on fire for business would be like yeah i i am your partner in this and i believe in you and i support yep. you in this or whatever you take alongside you as well yep but if she's like 
you ain't going to start a fitness business. Who do you think you are? That's probably a little bit of a red Like run as fast as you can. Yeah, right. <laughs> Christian, Deuces. I know some of this is hitting home. What do you got? I personally don't like thinking of myself as a catfish. And I've, I've been doing some catfish, man. Like, like I haven't taken this girl out on a proper date in a hot minute. Hot minute. So, but like bait and switch, catfish. My bro, guilty. Guilty. So, I need to be more present, more dedicated to making a change in that, you know. We, we've highlighted there's an issue. Ground control. So, um, that... Yeah. Hey, Andy, real quick. I just had to stop, right? Sure. I know it doesn't sound good off the top, but could we like nickname you Fat Andy? Because then people see you and they're like, what yeah, is this exactly. joke? Right? I mean, I mean, you could say Fat Andy or you could say Big A, you know, either, either, either one. No, no, but I'm, but I'm saying like, use it as an oxymoron. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm right. not. I'm not offended. Because then that, 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 I'm. I, I don't know if I'm. Or some, some, some kind of, some kind of play on words. This what? You're, you're, you're Big Andy. You're, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm meeting Fat Andy what, what, tonight. Fat Andy tonight. But, <laughs> but whatever it is, right? Whatever yeah, it is, you, right? You can, yeah, you can absolutely introduce me as such. Absolutely. No, I'm just saying, okay. Oh. No, because I mean, I love People it. I mean, it your, opens it opens a perfect segue for conversation, right? Fat Andy, bro, you don't look Boom. fat. Well, exactly. dude, yeah, I used to weigh yeah. 33 pounds, so what's up? Yeah, but that gets right into that. Anyway, completely off topic. Off topic, yeah. No, yeah. no. I, I, like I just care about you and want to, you know. No, I'm anyway, with it. Um, but yes, I'm the catfish. My name's Christian Cooper. I've been catfishing for the last little bit. I'm working on it. <laughs> Good segue. Good segue. Let's talk about let's talk about this. So <clears throat> there's there's that one side, right? Where where you have to continue doing the things that you know you needed to do, continue doing the things that led to her falling in love with you, continue doing the things that energize you to serve her. There's this other side that that really gets pounded into our skulls in the church you must die to yourself every single day she's not happy die to yourself he's not happy die to yourself maybe if you just served a little bit more maybe if you just prayed a little bit more yeah. in the meantime you're dying to yourself letting go of every desire that you ever had dying to yourself say you get linked up with somebody that you're you're not equally yoked with you want to start a business and then that person just doesn't believe in it that person's like i'm not going to support it so what do you do you beat it down you die die to yourself set that aside because it's not their aspiration that's the opposite side so we've got to walk that line between fulfilling our kingly husbandly duties, but also maintaining the fire in our lives for ourselves, not completely dying simply because we have a queen. What lights you up for yourself should light her up. Her seeing you in full power should light her up. You seeing her in full power should light you up, but it shouldn't come at the cost of each other dying to yourself because you don't know how to both operate in full power with each other. Ray, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think you're touching on something that is hugely beautiful. We've been told at church that you have to die in such a way, and the way that the church lives it or explains it is at a huge detrimental cost uh, putting great strain, I think, on relationships as a whole, just because they don't know how to teach it or understand it correctly. And what you're talking about, being able to identify what my power is and operating in full power 
and bringing like doing all of that for my wife in such a way that I am helping her operate in her full power. And so mm-hmm. my B operating in my full power, she's able to flourish and her, her full power is what she wants to. And too often everybody gets stuck on just this. I have to die to myself and it's at the cost of all everything that I want to do. And then she's not able to walk in hers, her full power, because I've compromised all mine. I'm not leading. I think this is a huge part. I I believe it is a huge part of why we see so much divorce Um, because they're both just conflicting back and forth rather than building each other up more and more and more. And so, um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then when you, like you're talking about, if people start to suitcase their desires and their goals and dreams, then you start to get some bitterness, you start to get some hurt built up, resentment starts to build. Like this is the reason why I can't do my business thing because she doesn't support me because he doesn't support me. This is the reason why I can't be a stay at home mom because he's not in his full power. What do you think, Kurt? It all lines up. Everything connects. If we don't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of other people. <clears throat> if we're going to work and worried about the fight we had with our wives last night or this morning, then you can't you can't function at work. Beautiful. If you can't function at work, then you don't want to be around other people. It's a same thing. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, I think Sean's probably got something to touch on this as well, too. Yeah, let's bring it, Sean. No, you don't feel you don't feel yeah. with any part of that. Yeah, I mean it's obviously uh, the biggest trip up was uh, the catfish game. You know, like if I can scoop a girl like that, then I can trick anybody, and then you just become the master trickster. At least I did. I became like a. I say I see it now. I didn't know I was doing it, but um, yeah, I mean that's clearly not what you want to do. You want to be able to step up to the plate and arrive alive and be fully ready to engage with your wife and kids and um, all the things that that matter the word of god men of god keeping all of it in in alignment and uh, i didn't and my marriage uh, fell apart because of it i didn't keep it all together i didn't care Uh, i stopped thinking that it was even a thing the thing jesus quit becoming an entity and just became a subscription notice that i got uh, once a month, maybe a few times a month, if uh, if the church was lucky. And that was it. Um, I think what, what I see here are men that are uh, different. And you guys treasure your relationships in a way that I see you putting action behind. Um, uh, yeah, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of guys that want to do some preemptive work on their marriage. So I'm Pumped to see you guys doing that, Andy doing that. I don't feel like a failure. I mean, it's kind of like a position of a failed marriage, but. um... Dude, there's power in that, though. Hold on, bro. Don't go that far because you have a story in that. Yeah. And, brother, you can be leading men going through it. And, bro, I'm hearing men left and right going, I'm going through this divorce. I'm going through this situation. And every time I hear that, bro, I love you. And I think of you every time because you're living in that and you're navigating that. Bro, you have so much power in that. Yeah, I think what's going to be beautiful is hearing your first testimony part of like how you were looking at your relationship, both her negatives and yours, and being able to experience that. And then as you're growing and being able to see what your next relationship is going to be like in that in that deal, uh, just seeing it in the perspective shift different, right? Yeah, well, yeah, 100 percent. Mine's changed. Yeah, Uh, I'm different. So the relationship will be different. Yeah. It's that's not to say that when you enter the relationship, you both can't grow in your own yeah. way. You will continually become different people, but you should be well, that's growing. What we, that's what we swear to here, right? We're swearing to never changing the, the dial on maximum availability all the time. So that's always going to be changing. We're the ones who morph. God doesn't. Right. If I can find a girl that's willing to do that, man, put on the blinders and, Hopefully I can live up to it too. You know, it's like, it's a, it's a game changer. This is like the life ender. This is it. This is what your life becomes. This is the painting. This is the display. 
it is it. And um, yeah, once you step off the edge, it's there's no like you can't fall up. You know, you can only fall forward. So um, beautiful. Yeah. What do you got, Nathaniel? Um, I hate when those those Bible stacks ask me how I'm going to measure things or track things. But this this is my wife. You're talking about your wife walking into full power. You walk into your full power. My wife knows when I have not done a Bible stack. No. My wife knows when I have not made my morning nice. meeting. That is. She calls me out on it every single time. She can tell just by how I'm walking, talking, and acting whether or not I'm walking in my full power. And on the days when I am, I catch her sitting back, just staring at me with this little grin on her face. I, I, I guess she's Love just it. appreciating what this program has done for me so far. I feel like a failure because I don't hit my hit list every day. Right. But she sees it differently. That's all I know. That's got to one of my measurement tools is, is her, how she's reacting around me. Absolutely. It's different. It changes the environment. When you're walking in your full power, it's it's just different. It, it's different. You're not a pouty little boy because you missed something. You're not pouting because you're, you're, you didn't get laid last night. You're not pouting because something didn't go well at work. It's just a game changer when you when you open up with that Bible stack first thing in the morning and then you roll that into a prayer stack and ask God like, hey, what do you want me to do today with this thing you just showed me that was amazing? Oh, it's crazy. And then you go into the and you pray with your wife before you leave the house. Oh, so much goodness in that. So much goodness in that. So one of the things that I wrote down here was... <clears throat> You shouldn't be committing joy suicide to please the other person all the time, right? You come to this place where you've buried all your desires, you've buried all your passions, you've buried anything that, that used to bring life to you to be a helper because of because of what how we translate. The Bible, right? Like, oh, you're you're from the man's rib, so you're just the helper, and and you only do this. And if we look at it like that, if we look at our wife as only a helper to help us do things, right? Then then we're wrong. We're absolutely losing the context of of what a helper is. Like a helper is is there to help you stay in full power just like nathaniel was saying to help you stay in full power to help you be the man that looks at her like she's your queen like she helps you with all of that she helps you stay in full power so you can be the man that makes her stay in full power right if if you know that you're you're killing her and all you're doing is making her a helper and she has no desires in her life. And you've got to recognize that and have that conversation, right? Re-energize her. You know what she was when you met her. You know what her passions were. You know what drove her. Don't let that flame die. Reawaken it, whatever you need to do to find it and let it come back to life. Because the dangerous thing is not knowing. You could be living what you think is grade A living. Like you're on top of the world, your business is killing it, your body is just ripped, shredded, you're squatting 700 pounds, like you're, you're just talking to God all the time, but then she catfished you because you've made her bury all her desires and dreams. And then at 30 years, she tells you, I can't do this anymore. I'm out because you didn't operate in a place where you stepped back from your relationship and said, okay, I'm doing good. I'm living by the code. I'm telling the truth. Are my kids? Is my wife? What is she on fire for? What? brings passion in her life and it could be supporting you and then that could be her only passion in life that could be I, I 
It could be, but it might not be. So you've got to have that conversation constantly, making sure that she's still having a fire inside of her that burns for something. What do you think, uh, Coop? I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll implement it, but I'm going to start with the uh, the no cap fishing first. No cap, dude. No cap. No cap on both sides, right? Yeah, and she just heard that. So she's like, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No cap, my girl. I got some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, you really got to find out and take a step back and see. You, We want to do our part and take care of ourselves, but noticing where that relationship is. And everybody's is different. Um, you know, I think like the same, it's interesting when Noel, when coach Noel's talking about, you know, my wife, if you guys know my wife, my wife loves supporting me, right? That is, that is something, but having other people, they love when their wife is dominating or in the business field or doing that. And so if that's yours as well, to navigate that is different. It's going to look different than the way it does mine, but it still has to be very intentional of what it is, right? And so loving my wife and appreciating my wife, respecting her, honoring her, loving her and all of who she is in that place, it can become very easy for me to be like, just take it as that's what she does. And I don't have to love her and appreciate and honor and respect her, right? So it has to be very intentional. But if your wife is also out there business like crushing it and doing it, then you're gonna also have to support her in a different way, still respecting her, appreciating her, honoring her and loving her. So it has to be very intentional with an intensity about it, okay? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we tend to call call the moms that are, are married to, to warrior men, CEO moms, right? They're the chief executive officers of the home. So you must honor that, you must, give that if that's their passion and their drive and the thing that wakes them up every day you've got to appreciate that express gratefulness for it all of the things that you would do that she does for you to help you stay in your full power tell you you're the man tell you you're so strong all oh, oh you've been watching our time together <laughs> Got a spy. Got a spy. yeah yeah i was gonna i was gonna pick that one up if you weren't yeah, she, she whispers that to me all the time. <clears throat> and kind of where all of this gets gets twisted is with a bunch of guys like us, right? Like I consider most of us givers. Like we like to give, we like to provide, we like to to not be constantly takers. And if we get yoked with the wrong person, if we let ourselves continue to die only to give to give to give to give to give we're going to end up in a bad place right you've also got to look at that side take a look back i've been giving i've been giving i've been giving am i being taken advantage of and if i am i need to initiate a conversation to make sure that I can re-lift myself and get out of this pit that I've found myself in. Because you know yourself as a giver, you've got to watch out for only being a giver and never being able to receive. Because that'll lead to burnout just as quick. What do you think about that one, Sean? Hey man, I'm ready for some reception. Ready for some good times. Bring it. Yeah. No, I'll pick up whatever it is, man. I think a lot of it is is mentality too, right? Like you you may feel like you need or there is more, but it's also you have everything right now. And it has to be legit. It has to be for real. No matter where you're starting from, no matter where you're at in the pecking order, where you're at is enough. It's enough for the king. You're enough for whatever mission you have for that day. Um, But what we're about in here is – never being okay with enough never being okay with just being okay i think we're we're swallowed never up being by okay without 
looking to expand the kingdom, right? The kingdom, like what, yeah. What can I do today to glorify God and expand the kingdom? It's not about me and what I have and like how good my relationship is and like how good of a father I am. It's about like, how can I make the Christian life, how can I make the kingdom look more appetizing to the Satan worshipers and the transgenders and the nonsense out there? How can I make my marriage look like the light on a hill that hasn't been snuffed out? That's not hypocritical. That's not preaching. That's just living it and enjoying it. And it's the, the picture perfect thing that God wanted for marriage. It's, and it's amazing. Yeah, sure, there's going to be fights. Sure, there's going to be tension sometimes. But at the end of the day, when people look to you, they're like, man, how do they do that? How do they go on a date night every week when they have two babies and two foster kids? How do they date their kids and actually communicate with a teenager? How do they do that? And How do they the value, their kids core, it's the core value. It's like a, it's like a, it's a mm -hmm. map for success, a plan, you know, I think that's what we're talking about. It's something that I've, I've lacked a lot of in life, having a direct plan coming out of the military, especially having a clear path, having passion and purpose and pursuit and every day is fulfillment. Um, and putting that down and saying, look, man, I'm the, mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a Kings. I'm the Kings. Yeah. And what is my life looking like? Mm -hmm. What is my life looking like? It's the Kings. Are my kids looking like they're the Kings? It's split up in the blender. The confidence of God on them. Do I, am I walking with that? Or am I meager and meek because I'm so, I'm, I'm anticipating some riff. Am I ready to get out there? Am I ready to surf with the sharks? Am I ready to be for real? Am I ready to die today? Am I ready to live today? Yeah. And I think that's more of ready to live today. Yeah. It's easy to die. Yeah. It's easy to die and go to heaven. Just be at his right hand. Are you ready to live to it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. Good, good. Yeah. Truly navigating this as well, though, navigating this and each one of us as we bring this more and more into alignment, learning and understanding truly what you want, right? And staying inside of that and living that and staying inside of it. It's hard to get distracted if I truly know what I want. <laughs> I know what I want, then I obviously know what I don't want. And so staying inside of that place, not getting distracted, living, living this out. It makes it so much better when people look at that and have all these things in alignment. How, again, like Coach Noel saying, how, how does he stay in shape? How, how is he crushing it in, in, in worshiping God and in that every single place, like in, in all of his day long, all day long, staying in, uh, in his own center? Like, how is he doing and dating his wife? How is he dominating business? All of those things, how? Like, that, that becomes very appealing versus you can't tell the difference between a, a Christian and somebody else in culture. <laughs> You're like, what's the difference? You know, their life looks nothing different, right? Uh, that huge difference. Yeah. Very good. good. Very good. I wanted to go over. Love that. Is that you got a little bit more? Because <laughs> what's that? No, go ahead. Go ahead. So kind of as we're getting a little bit closer, I wanted to make sure I um, we we've got. Um, at that place where we're getting the body being balanced in business, uh, the balance stuff, I'm going to try something. I'm going to give you guys uh, kind of recorded some stuff about balance and uh, I'm going to send it to you and you'll have to watch it. You'll watch it on YouTube. Um, I made a playlist. If this ends up working out like this, then then we'll be able to uh, consume it uh, this way. Um, so it, again, I've done the, the list and, and being able to, especially with the balance, being able to go a little bit more deep into it. Again, there's, there's this place where we're, we're treading the line. Like we want you again, it's like, we give you the information and we want you to apply that. Right. And so seeing you guys apply it and check that block in the warriors app and doing that, but there's that place of like, how much more consuming, consuming, consuming is, is uh, 
Um, so I'm going to give you this to consume. I think it's very good material. If it works, if you guys like it, then I'll keep doing it with some of the, the other um, things in the armory. And, and are uh, you, you going to send it to us? I'm going to send it in the WhatsApp. Uh, it'll be a link for the YouTube and then you'll consume it. But here's the thing. This is where I want you to, as I'm handing you this stuff and I'm putting in all of this stuff and we're putting it in there and it's still basic training and you're not fully in alignment with it. I want you to consume it because what I think we're both seeing, we're, we're seeing you guys are hungry for it. And so I'm willing to give it to you. But at the same time, when you're listening to that and like coach Noel saying, what's your measurable, what's your measurable, what's your measurable? Like you need to be asking yourself, I just consume this. What is my measurable? Like, what am I going to do with this? Like consume, consume, consume. You just consume stuff for 12 hours and you're like sending it out to everybody that you love and know this is the greatest thing. And then you do nothing with it. It's like, what's the point? You just wasted time. Does that make sense? So continually ask yourself, what, what am I going to do? How am I applying this? What am I going to do with this? Okay. So, which is super because Nathaniel, I heard you kind of say like we, we, the, this balance has went super fast and it almost is like, now that it's almost over, it's like, uh, what, what, do, what do I really, where's my depth here? What, what am I trying to hold on to? So as I give you the stuff from the armory for the, for, um, what balance is at a depth, I want you to be able to listen to it with your mind and your heart, consume it and say, okay, now that I just heard this at a deeper level, well, how am I going to apply this in my life? What is my measurables? Can we, can we agree on that? Yes. So I appreciate you asking that question. I, I heard your heart in that, Nathaniel, like kind of that this balance has went fast, right? And so I'm going to give you this material because I know you're hungry for it, but don't let it just be something that you consume and that you don't apply something, something. Would it be, would it be okay to watch it with my wife or is this for my yeah. eyes only? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it with your wife. Yep. Yep. Watch it and consume it. It's going to be on balance. It's going to be on person one and person two. And it's basically breaking down, uh, pouring into your wife, you know, and your posterity, what that looks like and how to uh, navigate this, not just at the understanding of what is balance or what is a 0.5 that you get for it. It's building on top of what the balance is, what the depth of person one and person two is, and what you're doing and how you're creating this to really work for you in your life, not just not just a point inside of, of the app, not just yeah, something she, that you're checking she, off. Yeah. She did that impossible game. Always, always, always. Should be something, some end game out of it. Not that you're playing a game with your your wife or your kids, but you want something more for both of you, right? You want to grow who both of you are together. It's almost like, when you consume, you know, like sometimes in the Bible, you can read until Revelation and you're like, that's it. Like, I, I need to stop because I need to grab that thing and I need to go. I need to pray on that and I need to go. Like, I'm not reading anymore. Almost the same with, with consumption of stuff. If you'll consume until Revelation and then take action, it's much better than consuming the whole thing just just to know the stuff that was in there. If you'll consume till revelation and go, that's way more powerful than consume to the end and sit. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Kurt, can you put uh, your email in the chat? I'm gonna add you to the app right now. You bet. Yeah. Um. So again, yeah, I just I want you to be able to to consume that. Let me know if, if that works. Uh, even drop it in the chat what the what the fire really is that you got out of it, and even what your measurable uh, could be. Um, the more we talk about measurables, the measurables that you're coming up with, um, it's going to help the other men in the group. You know, there is a difficulty of. <laughs> 
okay, I'm going to put these things in there and there's a difference. Like you're putting something in there that might be for your being. And it's like a spiritual part. You're like feeling it spiritual, but then what does that look like when you apply that in reality? And so as you're navigating, whatever something hits your heart and it's spiritually going to do you better, putting that in a measurable and then knowing like how you're going to track that is going to help the other men also, also navigate that uh, in such a way. Okay. As the others are going through that. Does that make sense? You're, you're learning something that hits you spiritually. You're wanting to do that, let's say with your wife, person one, and then you're like, okay, I want to connect with her more. We're going to communicate more and then trying to bring that into reality. Okay. I want to connect with her more. What does that look like? Oh yeah, that means I need to set time aside so that we can actually have some dialogue and communication and I'm going to see what it is important to her uh, for for uh, what what is her desires that she has on her heart, right? And then how am I going to track that? Well, I'm going to write it and take a picture of it and I'm going to post it to Facebook or whatever. As you give examples of those things, it's going to help the other men in this group as well and things that work well for you things some things that you'll see you'll see coach Raylan doing you'll see me doing you'll see coach Garrett doing like we forget that that's what pulled us to the level that we're at and we forget that that's even like a strong and powerful tool um so we even need to get better at saying like hey this just posting what we ate in our faces at our day, like helped these other guys figure out like what a date night could look like. As simple, I, simple, boring things that help. I'll, I'll, sh I'll share this because it's been huge for me is combining my hit list, doing like doing a Bible stack with my wife. That's yep. that's in, that's investing in balance and being simultaneously. Huge. You know, like these these videos, my wife. It, She's as thirsty for what I'm doing in this group or even more thirsty than I am. She absolutely loves it when I share with her the things that we're talking about. She helped me create my hit list. So like watching that video with her, she's going to enjoy that. So it's not a date night, but that is time spent with my wife. Absolutely. And, yeah. And it's also me investing in me at the same time. Yeah. And yeah. From what I hear of your wife as well, being a powerhouse and just everything that she does, dude, this is, this is going to be, powerful for, for for her as well dang that's good you guys that's build good. relationship in growth mindset and being powerhouses that would be whoo unstoppable watch, man unstoppable just grow 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 forcing each other to grow forcing each other to love each other more forcing each other to parent better oh man it's beautiful it's beautiful i love it that's, that's what we want to see absolutely yeah, I love it. Well, any other last questions? I know we went a little long, 30 minutes long, um, but I think we got some good value out of it, good good chatting out of it. Any other questions that anybody wants to ask about the, the tactical portion or anything we talked about? Off topic, but is there chasing alignment tomorrow with it being a holiday? Yes. rest for the weary yeah nice love you guys labor day means work dude <laughs> <laughs> get your cross and start walking uh, up. The, you know you I'll, tell you, I'll be honest like being gone uh it has been amazing to sleep in and then do my bible stack when i wake up but there is a place that i'm kind of worried i'm like Please, dear Lord, let me still love like getting up in the morning. Let it not become difficult. Like, Dude, let me bring <laughs> let me bring you out to the Sierras when it was thirty degrees at five a.m. Oh, See how much Bible flipping you're doing at five a.m. <laughs> no fire, no nothing. Uh, you're just doing jumping jacks. <laughs> it, it was cold. It was cold. It was cold. First night was cold. We got rain, snow, a little bit of snow. Ooh. It was, it was a black. It was so hard. It was so hard. That's it a welcome hard. party. Brutal 20, 2,000, 2,200 feet of LA elevation gain one day. It was something like 7,500 feet of change that day. I don't want to ever hear like that your shin is bothering you. 
dude, my knees and shins are beat. It took the last week just to like kind of recuperate a little bit. Dude, it's I been bet. brutal. Dude. But that's, uh, anyway. that's one hell of a movement. That's beautiful. Yeah. 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 It's 50 Andy, miles. And pray for us. Yeah. Father God, thank you for another opportunity to come together and just check in with one another and to continue to expand ourselves, Lord, so we can expand for you, Lord, hmm. or just continue to press in on our hearts and let us press in as well to, to seek that continued expansion in you, Lord, in our families, in our loved ones, in our businesses, in our body, in our health, and all that you have required and, and requested of us to just have dominion over we pray, oh, for those that are out and on their way in, just continue to guide them safely. And may you just continue just to watch over our steps and just shed that everlasting love that you have for us, Lord. And we just give thanks for you again. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. It's going to be it's going to be a good week, brothers. Keep continually stepping in. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to see everybody uh coming in more and more into alignment it's beautiful hey, no no fell asleep <laughs> <What's that? laughs> oh no fell asleep. Asleep. <laughs> hey you guys there's pieces on the floor he's been eating them uh, oh okay. it, was it, was froze. it was froze it was froze, froze. froze. Right. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys that, uh, that, uh, guess, uh, when are you guys getting back